the Skeena River in northern British Columbia. A wild, untamed, soul-stirring place. And whether you've been there or not, the Skeena matters to you. You see, most of the native wild salmon are gone from the rivers of Europe and eastern North America. But the Pacific still holds a strong collection of beautiful and whole salmon rivers, full of wild fish and largely unaltered by man. These are salmon strongholds. Here and everywhere around the Pacific, wild salmon are the keystone species, the centerpiece in a thriving web of life. As many as 137 other species depend on salmon. Giant grizzlies and killer whales, tiny caddisflies, towering furs not to mention native people, fishermen, and sushi lovers across the Pacific. If we want salmon around for the next generation, we need to protect wild salmon strongholds like the Skeena. Draining an area the size of Switzerland, the Skeena holds some of the largest Chinook and ocean-going steelhead trout ever seen. Now the Skeena is under threat. Gas companies have zeroed in on this area at the mouth of the river. It's an eelgrass bed called Flora Bank, where hundreds of millions of finger-length salmon rest on their way out to sea. There's no other nursery as important in the Skeena. One group of foreign companies has proposed to build a massive gas export facility here, including a mile-long bridge with towers piled into the sea floor at the edge of Flora Bank. Local First Nations have been fishing the Skeena for 5,000 years. They have told the company to build the facility elsewhere. They've been clear. The threat of losing Flora Bank is too great. With the bank goes the river, and there's simply no way to rebuild an extraordinary salmon river once it's gone. Let's not repeat the mistakes of the past by wiping out Flora Bank. If we lose the Skeena, we'll lose much more than that. Let's keep this salmon stronghold healthy and wild for all of us today and those who follow. <laughs>